everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We got something cool for you guys today. We are in Justin's machine shop here, and you know how the brain's always going, hey, let's shoot this, let's shoot that. Well, right here, out of their machines, they get all this, this is stainless steel from stuff that they're making. And we were thinking, hey, I wonder how much of this stuff it takes to stop a bullet. So we got these plastic six by six containers here so you guys can see it. And what we're doing is we're packing them full here. We got about 20 of these boxes. We're gonna pack these things full, head out to the range and see what kind of rounds they can stop. So I hope you guys enjoy this. We're gonna get all these loaded up and meet you out on the range. Let's do it. All right, now that we got all these things loaded, um, it took us a little while. Now, first, you guys are gonna ask how much they weigh. Some weigh two pounds, some might weigh five pounds. It all differs because some are smaller, some are bigger, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, these are the rounds we are gonna to try today. We got, of course, we're gonna do your fitty. We got 223, 300 blackout. We got nine mil rifle. This is a cool, cool, uh, rare rifle here. We got 22 and we got AK. That is what we're gonna do for you guys. Let's get rocking and rolling. So we're gonna be trying this 22 long rifle into, we only put two up there. We don't think the 22 long rifle will go too far, but we'll find out here. The first one's pretty lightly packed, the second one's pretty dense. Clear. All right, here's where Justin hit right here. Perfect in the front. Ooh, well, it went through the first. It's a good thing we made 20 of these things because uh, we may need them all when we get to the bigger stuff, but it didn't make it past the second. Now this one, as you can see, is much denser than this one. We went with what we had. And anyways, I don't think anybody's done this anyway. So this is pretty cool. Here we go. So 22 will make it through the thinner stuff, but not through the more dense, smaller pieces. All right, cool, let's move on to the next one. All right, so we got the Spanish Destroyer carbine. It's actually supposed to be a nine by 23, or nine millimeter Largo, I believe, but we got a nine by 19 to fit in there somehow. I have a way of making things work. All right, let's see if we can go through more than 22. Clear. All right, he hit not in the same place as the 22, which is good because, well, I don't know why, but uh, right there, 22, nine mil, and it went through one into the second. All right, it looks like it did push pretty far, or it pushed some of the pieces pretty far, but it did not go through the second one. We actually numbered these guys. I know, golf clap for going ballistic. They finally brought a marker. Can't ever find a flashlight when we need one, but hey, we got a marker today. All right, so went through the first two. Uh, we'll do the next round, Justin. Um, you hit both of those kind of center, so a little higher. Actually, a little lower. Actually, we'll just turn the damn thing. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I got it. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna try the uh, 223 here. I've always wanted to shoot this one. 
I haven't actually shot this rifle yet, so this will be a lot of fun. Here we go. Whew. Clear. Hey, not bad for closing my eyes. Ooh. Oh, these did go through too. So I hit here um, a little higher than Justin did. Sorry, dude, didn't mean to show you up, but I did. Mm -hmm. um, so it went through one. These were fresh, fresh ones. Two. You gotta be kidding me. It did not go through. It did not deflect out of the sides or nothing. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, two of these things has stopped 22, 9 mil, and 223 all in the second box. That's cool. Uh, what's next? I don't know. I think Justin's going to shoot 300 blackout. Yep. Mm. Something. Let's do it. Well, since this is technically a pistol, I'm going to hold it like a pistol. I need some backup irons for this thing because uh, my optics never work. Look at that. I think I hit it that time. All right, hit almost dead center. Again, this one is very squishy. He went through one. Did something make it through the second? Oh, it did. Cool. All right, so it went through th one, two, into the third. You can see it definitely pushed some of this stuff back. These shavings have uh, coolant mixed in it with the machine, so it's kind of steaming off here. But let's see if there's any other holes. No other holes. So that 300 blackout round is in here somewhere. I don't see it, but we're gonna mark it as a 300 so we could try to find these later. All right, we're gonna move on to the AK now, and we're gonna put, well, we'll put four of these, five of these up, since it seems to be stopping them pretty good. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna be doing the AK. That 300 blackout was out of eight inch barrels, a 150 grain supersonic. He was like 1900 feet per second. This one's a 123 grain hollow point though, out of a 16 inch barrel. Let's see what happens. That looked like I moved the table a good bit. I'm kind of blown away. It did not go through the second one again. And these, like, again, they're all different. This one's a little more dense than the second one, but blew right through the first one, into the second, and nowhere. It did not come out, nothing. Now again, this is a hollow point, so it probably kind of skadooshed itself but um still i we're gonna make some body armor out of this stuff see how it does compress it a little bit and see how it does because it's held up way better than i thought so we got a surprise for you guys we're gonna do 250 cal rounds but uh you'll like this one first let's do it all right now we're gonna be doing the 50 i know you guys have been wanting to see this one we need to include it in more of our videos. But, uh, so we were shooting these. These are solid brass projectiles. I was wondering why they recoiled so much, and I looked, and they're 802 grains, and I was like, well, no wonder why. But let's see what it can do to all this. And don't forget to check out Hunting for Connections. If you want to meet your outdoorsy significant other, check them out. They're big supporters of us, so let's support them. Ready? Yeah. Oh, where's the Tylenol?
That was a lot. Jeez, that made some carnage. That was some cool carnage. Now, that one blasted through everything. Nice shot right there. It went through this first one. We've put a, a more dense uh, box up here, but it pushed through that no problem. There's two, let's see. Uh, blew this one right off the table. That was awesome. Three, four, and it looked like it deflected, but check this out. Here's the plate. It hit this plate. It blew part of the table off. Pushed this little dude back. Hit right here, but all this shrapnel from this stuff here just peppered this. Check out our table. Um, it blew right through our table right here. That was so cool on the high speed. You can see all the chunks coming. Uh, somewhere around here is a chunk brass because right here in the dirt uh, is where it hit. Hey, look at this. Is that my lucky charm? <laughs> yep. Check oh, that wow. out, it man. Hit the plate sideways. Oh, wow. Yeah, it did by the time it hit the plate. So that was right here. That is cool. This little copper turd right there hit just like that. Gold. Yeah. That is cool, man. Huh, that was a good find on that one. We got we to gotta see what the 50 uh, spotter tracer looks like on some of these. We got a couple of these boxes left that still have a lot of stuff in them. So let's do the 50 spotter tracer just junk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nerd. Nerd. Now the spotter tracer should should give us a nice show, I think. Well, I'm hoping for it. But I don't know, since it's a spotter tracer, will it actually penetrate as much as that copper or brass one does? Or is it going to come up short? Story of my life. Oh, man. That was destructive. Oh, no. Clear. <laughs> that was a lot of carnage. That was flipping cool, man. It was neat on the high speed. Uh, it did set the round off and then it was almost like a barrel. You see that poof, that blast come out back towards Justin. It didn't go that far back to him, but uh, this one is still smoking. Um, it fused these two together. So it went through that one. Oh my gosh. Dude, it like pulled half the freaking <laughs> box. It might still be in here or it went down. All these are still good back here. Six, seven, eight. This is five, four, five. See, you guys thought I cut myself loading these things. And this was just a joke, but now it's turned out to be really good because I can brush this stuff off without cutting myself. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, wow, check that out. That just sucked that whole freaking box into the other one. That's incredible. But nothing went through. It split the back, but I don't think it, it came out. Might Part of it might still be in here. I don't know. And this is a great time to go and buy your Gone Ballistic t-shirt. I know I keep pushing these t-shirts, but we do put everything back in this channel. We're going to look through these later, not on this video, but um, see if we can find any of the projectiles. We saved these boxes here uh, where the other ones were at and marked them to see if we can find the projectiles. Um, 
check out our Instagram page. What we'll do is we'll put all the different projectiles on our Instagram page. So sign up, become a follower on our Instagram page. Thank you to our patrons and all of you guys. We love you guys. We'll be back.